Uh, Rod Kusinen's Booman for Risk on September 4th afternoon of this uh, rally. Going into noon here, let's look at what we see on the premium. The, the premium began to drop in here right as we moved up to the high of the day. <clears throat> now, was there any indication here that this thing was going to drop? And the answer to that is, is, is yes. Now, to what extent it would drop, a lot depends on what the premium is telling us. So we have our premium indicator on here showing us new lows from this point in time at 12.18. So we have a new low here, OK? Potentially, we could drop below the 53.73 mark. As we do, we get another low at 53.50. We should be dropping lower. Now, we do drop a little bit lower, okay? And then right in here, we begin to see a real more, uh, a more pronounced drop in the market. the lows of the premium in this case dropping below fair value until this point here and we have another new low so we should be dropping below 5125 as we drop below 5125 we get another new low so it should be dropping below 51 and we get another new low at 5075 a very clear pronounced naked bar. We're going to drop below 5075. Now, notice what happens. The market begins to rally up. All right? You're going to want to short this. You don't want to short that move. And right in here <clears throat> we see the high of the spoos at 53.50 on that bar. The very next bar, we have a divergence at the same price right up to our threshold line at negative 1.06. We drop a little bit and we come right back up. Okay? Now, does that mean that we get out of that trade? We might. That would be up to you. But looking at where where the market's at here, all right? We don't really go any higher than 53.50, and the the highs of the premium are still right at the threshold line. Now we go up a little bit higher. We get this new high on the premium here. Okay. Now we're either going to get out of that trade or we're going to add to it because we know we're coming back down. So that too is discretionary. But we want to wait until we go up a little bit higher, 54.50. And we'll see where the premium is at when we reach 54, I'm sorry, 54.25. It's right there. Yeah, 54.25. And we have this rather significant divergence there, followed by this precipitous drop. Oh, my goodness. So there was your heads up on what was about to happen. And then boom, boom, it drops like a rock. Is it going below 50? It's going at least back to 50 if it rallies up. And as you can see here, she comes back to 50, finally drops below 50 again as the premium is continuing to drop in here. And then we get more of a, uh, we come right back to this point here, 49.50, we're up above the threshold line. We're going to rally up now. We don't really know how far. We don't have any, well, I should take that back. Right in here right in here. This is so high above as well as this. All of these bars in here 
All right. In fact, even this, that bar there, well, that's okay. Definitely here. Okay, we're going back to 5225 at least, and you can see that's what happens. Now we get this low here on the premium below the threshold line that's somewhat of a naked bar. We'll come back to that price, which we do. And so that nice little move, this drop predicted by the premium, this drop predicted by the premium, along with this rally back up, because these highs on the premium above our threshold line, we come back here, all right? Now on that bar right there, we're below the threshold on the highs, we drop back into where we were predicting the market to go. And so there you have it, all right? And then she comes up again at the close. Very nice move. The down, the back up, and the back down, all predicted by the premium. Nice move. This is what you learn when you learn how to read the premium. This is Rod Kusin and Spoonhand for Risk.